who didn't hear about Oklahoma City. But if you weren't there, you have no idea what that bomb did. The injuries were as different as their victims. I saw it all. That night, I still see it. I'll be in the shower, fishing on the lake, and I swear I hear someone crying, moaning in pain. The floors were sticky with blood, and you couldn't walk without glass crunching underfoot. There was this four-year-old boy had his hand on a doorknob when the bomb exploded. That one moment, that one wrong moment, is frozen for that boy. And now every time he reaches to open a door with the hand that's left, I can't imagine his terror. People call me a hero. No. There was this woman who, a large part of her skull had been a balls just completely taken off by the force of the blast. And her face. I worked on her for 17 hours, and when it finished, I thought this is why I'm here, to make a real contribution to help people with real needs, not million dollar ball players with short rotator cuffs. This is the first time I've been back in an OR since that woman died in Oklahoma City. You'll be able to make a difference here. For others. For yourself. And for the hospital, I mean, since you need a new head of orthopedics. You want to be cynical? No problem. But withholding your talent, not using your ability is arrogant. 